words can be hello everybody my name is katie welcome to another video today i'm bringing you guys my mid-year book freak out tag the mid-year freak out tag are several questions based on the first half of the year that are to do with reading so without further ado let's go question number one is what is the best book that you've read so far this year now this question is always going to be a difficult one because there are many a contender for this but i think if I had to pick just one of them, it would be Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This was just full of so much and probably one of the best conclusions to a trilogy or even a series like ever. It just wrapped up so well and there was a lovely chapter sort of in the end that was just the best ending chapter and it just made me so happy and it just filled all of me with just such happiness and it was just oozing with perfection and I completely think people should give this trilogy a read and yeah more and more people should give a read it's so so good if you didn't gel with more instruments give this one a try because it's very different it's very steampunk it's historical based in the past and oh my goodness it's just it's so good i loved this book next question is a best sequel that you've read so far this year this one i'm gonna have to go with heartstopper volume number four this is my favorite one by far it hit very deep but at the same time it just it's so cute these books are just so cute if you're having a bad day on a seed these books will make you feel so much better they're just cute and adorable and I just love Charlie and Nick so so much and just the relationship that they have with each other is just I just I love it so so much next question is what's a new release that you want to read so that would be like a most recent book so a couple of 2021 releases that I've grabbed off of my shelf in here that I have yet to read one being Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid I have been holding off this book and I think that's because I've had some mixed reviews of this book and it's not been like bigly hyped some people have enjoyed this some people have said it's not as good as daisy jones and the six so i am just a little bit scared to give it a read although i do want to so <laughs> i will but this one i'm really excited to read and this is becoming mila by estelle mascame this is estelle mascame's latest book release and it just sounds so good so i'm end up reading this pretty soon actually because i just love estelle's writing style i love her did i mention i love you series i've only read like two books in that series but it's already one of my favorite series the books are like literally just here <laughs> but yeah i just love her writing style so so much so i've got high hopes for this one and yeah i look forward to giving it a read so yeah i'm looking at it and i just really want to pick it up so yeah i'm probably most excited about this one question number four is what is your anticipated release for the second half of the year so i was looking through like a few lists on goodreads and it was really kind of hard to find one because a lot of them are continuations of series and also some standalones that i haven't really like looked too much into but one book that i found is by an author that i absolutely love books by and so that book is defy the night by bridget camera and i absolutely love bridget camera like so so much i've got a curse of dark and lonely right here and I've yet to read like her two other books and I have also read like a couple of her standalone books, her contemporaries which are like down below on the shelf you won't be able to see but I really really love those books and yeah I just have high hopes for this new book by her and also there is A Shadow in the Ember by Jennifer L. Armantrout that is coming out later on this year this I think is kind of like a spin-off from the From Blood and Ash series so it kind of like fills the void because the next book in the From Blood and Ash series isn't going to be until like next year so I'm happy to have like another book in the series to, to read but yeah I really enjoy some spin-offs sometimes so I you know I, I enjoy all of Jennifer Armitage's books to be honest so yeah she can write anything and I would just literally buy it and enjoy it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Question number five is what is the biggest disappointed read of this year? For me that is just going to be like a novella and uh, it's called The Ashbourne Boy by Victoria Schwab. So this was the novella that it came in the bind up of The Near Witch by Victoria Schwab and yeah it was just one of the most pointless novellas ever like you know sometimes when you get a novella and you're like why was this written like i didn't see much point to it and i was reading it and i was just like yeah like could have done without this really like this could have actually been in the actual main book as like a chapter just like a really sort of revised version but as like I don't know maybe two or three pages long maybe a prologue or something like that like it felt like it would have been better done that way rather than as a novella it was honestly like a big waste of time for me reading it and I was so disappointed by it question number six is what is your biggest surprise for this one I'm gonna put Geekerella by Ashley Poston I have owned this for like quite a while and then I only read it this year and I loved it I was addicted to it I just loved it. There are LGBT characters around this. It is just such a fun spin on Cinderella. Like a geeky convention Cinderella style with like a female female crush going on and oh it's just so amazing. I loved it. I need to read the other books actually because I do own the sequel. Oh man, I just I got to. I've got to give it a read. But yeah, I was so surprised how much I loved this book. And that will lead on to my favourite new author. That probably will have to be Ashley Poston actually, because yeah, I she's a new author to me. Like all the other books I've read this year, like Cassandra Clare, and I've read like Jennifer Armatrout and you know, all all sorts like Alice Oseman and Ashley Poston is like a new author to me and I just yeah love Geekerella. Newest fictional crush for me definitely Gemma Carstairs from the whole Infernal Devices trilogy. I loved him so so much. Now normally I do like to go towards the male broody character the dark one the one that's kind of like misunderstood the one that sits at the back of the classroom and everybody ignores because they just seem so mysterious i normally go for those sort of characters but gem costas was just the epitome of everything that you ever want in a book boyfriend and it's just lovely and kind and caring and will put family first and friendship first and he's just not selfish he's just a lovely lovely person and i love them so so much and yeah definitely a new fictional crush and i just oh my goodness love it <laughs> and this also ties into the next question which is new favorite character so yeah gem costas for that one as well question number 10 is what's a book that made you cry i've not cried at any books this year sadly i've not found a sad one i've not found a sort of like happy one i could have possibly cried at clockwork princess but i did kind of spoil myself because on the dust jacket behind this is a timeline uh, uh, like a family tree of like who ends up with who and i had a look at the dust jacket and spoiled myself as to like who ends up with who at the end of this book and if i had not seen that i probably would have actually cried with happiness because just it's got such a beautiful happy ending question number 11 is a book that made me happy honestly i can mention so many like the heartstopper book series and also clockwork princess and also rereading a couple of books like listen to your heart by casey west and also starcrossed by rachel wing they are literally down below but those are just like some books that i've read this year that have honestly made me so so happy geekerella made me feel really happy as well when reading it because it's just that sort of like cute happiness but yeah just so many books that i have reread this year that made me happy and made me smile but yeah heartstopper is definitely high on the list because those i just recommend for you if you really really just want to make yourself feel happy the next question is what is the most beautiful book that you bought this year that's quite a hard one because i don't tend to buy a lot of 
2021 books I haven't really purchased a lot of them but <clears throat> yeah that's quite difficult I really actually like the cover of First Life I'll just grab it down for you I really like these covers I like this like with this hourglass thing with like like a, a village or a, or a a town or a sort of castle in like I really like that because like look at this there's this like dark castle and stuff at the top and then there's this light one underneath I just I really like covers like this at the same time I love covers I like this I think it's just really beautiful these colors are splashed together I mean it's really simplistic it's like a wave that's just like splash but it's just all the pinks and the purples and the blues and the greens and oh it just looks so pretty question number 13 is what books would you like to read by the end of the year i normally do a video for this so all i can say is stay tuned for that video i will have a little think um put together like possibly like 10 books that i'd like to read before the end of the year i normally do it every year so i'll have a little scan around the shelves and just pick 10 books and then i'll do a separate video for that guys question number 14 is who are your favorite community members this year honestly i found out so many too many to list but there are always going to be some booktubers that I have watched in the past that I still watch these days that I auto watch and one of them is Heather from Bookables I absolutely love Bookables channel I also watch Hayley in Bookland I have discovered this year Peace Love Books as well and they read a lot of like romance books they do loads of recommendation videos of like romance like hate to love or like colleges and stuff and i've just recently found that channel and i absolutely love that channel and also i love Haley and bookland i've always really liked her books because she reads very similar books to myself the same with like bookables as well like they both read similar books as me and also i've got steph loves as well i absolutely love her channel and i automatically watch her videos we'll link all of these wonderful channels down below but honestly I have so many like new booktubers that I find each and every day that I do have like a massive subscription list I have a massive watch later list and I have just discovered so many great new booktubers this year honestly guys keep doing what you're doing I just love watching like videos of like other booktubers anything like book hauls tbrs anything to do with books recommendations you know that sort of thing bookshelf tours just anything where you're talking about books <laughs> but cool I just love them so so much so yeah this time around is like a really great time because there's like TBRs and wrap-ups going around and I love just the influx of like things in my subscription <laughs> list of like all those sort of videos are just oh, so so good but that is it for my mid-year book freak out tag I hope you guys have enjoyed the answers to my questions as much as I have enjoyed sharing my answers with you guys but that's it for me and if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and would like to see more of my videos please feel free to subscribe I post videos like all the time I don't have a specific schedule because I work shift work down in the description below you'll find anything that's mentioned in today's video as well as all of my own social media links my twitter instagram goodreads and also my amazon wish list i also have a book club and also do video game channels as well so i've got a youtube a twitch and a twitter that goes along with that so that'll be down in the description below but that's it for me guys thank you so so much for clicking on my video today and for watching i hope you're doing uh, really really well and having a lovely lovely day my name is katie keep smiling keep reading i'll be happy and i will see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye <laughs>